The point is that when it comes to news content, it should be the Channel 4 journalists who decide what goes in that program, not Buckingham Palace, not anybody else. So I fully support their right to decide what goes into their own programs. I think it's important we don't all get too journalistically po-faced about this. Yes, there is legitimate public and journalistic concern about Diana and the way she died, that's for sure. On the other hand, we have to be honest and say that a lot of people stand to make money and have made money out of Diana's life and the story surrounding her death. She's become a phenomenon and people are cashing in on that. But I don't think the public are stupid. They will look at programs such as the Channel 4 documentary and make their own mind up about whether this is legitimately journalistic or whether it's simply a cash-in. I've got no idea why they want to show them at all. I think it's ab abominable that, you know, that they, even anyone would consider showing them. Nobody really wants to see them, do they? Pour la, bah, pour la famille, c'est sûr qu'ils aimeraient peut-être pas qu'on en parle, mais comme c'est des gens publics, donc on est obligé d'en parler, que les gens sachent l'histoire, et puis eh c'est un peu une nécessité, que les gens connaissent un peu ce qui s'est passé, parce que c'était quand même une, une dame publique.